a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello my wonderful people, welcome back to my wonderful channel, Reality Latest Days. Your hope of things are politics, thank you so much once again for joining us. My people today in Edo State Governorship Election, the people of Edo State go decide today who will succeed Governor Godwin of Basiki. The voters, according to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, 2,249 voters collected their permanent voters card, that is PVC. However, there are 2,629,025 registered voters. Edosat has 1,526,699 voters. Edonoth, 673,794 voters. And Edo Central, 440,514 voters. About the candidate with the context, there are about 17 men and a woman who want Obasiki's job. But my people, only one person feel mount that governorship seat. Come November 12th, another person go stay the affairs of Edo State in 2028. My people, Edo State's governorship election has been paying out as a three horse race between the People's Democratic Party, Dr. Aswe Ihodalo, the All Progressive Congress, Netumondo Boholo, both from Edo Central, and the Labour Party, Olumida Kwata. He's from a donut. My people wanna stay with us so for updates as the election process unfold. We're gonna bring on more videos, pictures, and story as events develop real time. But my people now we stand to make a quickly show on some things because right now, for Benin City, the do state capital, the Independent National Electoral Commission officials don't begin accreditation for voters for the do state governorship election. And early voters don't they check their names for their polling units. And next Ad hoc, they wait for vehicle to take to take them to their polling unit. And people voting go start by exactly 8 30 across the various police stations for Edo State. But I know official they expect her to don't arrive by at least 8 o'clock to set up for the election. Now, all the people will get the permanent voters' cards, go free vote. When the voters approach the INEC official, it go first show them the PVC and the INEC people go check them with the bimodal voter accreditation system. After that, the INEC person go also check the name of the voter for the voter register and mark them say in done they accredited. The voter go then collect the ballot paper and go to the voting cubicle to top it on and before he go drop them inside the ballot box. INEC official go also apply ink on the thumb of the voter to show say the person don't vote through through after voting the voter fee go house if he wants or he go stay some meter away from the voting area to wait for sorting and counting notwithstanding the presence of security don't have you across Benin city the do state capital for the state government election Police, soldiers, plus other security operatives, they station for various points. They block up major roads for the early hours of the morning to restrict any hard movement. The Nigeria Police Force be announced say them they deploy 35,000 officers to provide security for the election. The Inspector General of Police, Kayo De Botoku, will give the information. I'd say then they expect over 8,000 security personnel from other agencies to join them for the election. He said then don't ban the do state security network. So them not go participate for the election. Also, no private or state-owned security apparatus go they allowed to operate during and after the election. The police say them don't deploy drones, helicopter plus other equipment to foresee any untoward incident during the pool. Talk talk person for the force. Moyewa Adejobi said that the DIG Frank Mba go lead the police team and assistant inspector general and commissioner of police go they posted to senatorial district and local government. He said they're ready to support INEC to ensure free, fair, and peaceful electoral process for Edo State. So right now, my people, Edo State people go come out, come vote for who they take over from Godwin Obasiki as the governor of Edo State. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, don't talk, say, them they ready for the election and them call on residents of the state who they owed enough and who don't register to vote to come out and exercise their franchise. 16 men and one woman 
Naim they say they contest for this Obongyo position of governor of Edo State. Even though say now only three of of them where their campaign holds. I make some people talk say the main contest go be between Mondo Boholo of the APC and Aso Ihodalo of the People Democratic Party and Olumide Akwata of the Labour Party. So right now my people security personnel stand out Gidigba. Some commercial bus driver who wanted to make quick business however managed to avoid the roadblock to invade questioning by security officials. The popular ring road will now know had a notable presence of military personnel, particularly at the Saple Road Forestry Junction and Saple Road as is with an armored tank station at the city center. There was also a heavy presence of security personnel at Okada Road, Ekenwa Road and at Ainek Office at Ikboba Hill. The news agency don't observe roadblock at the Agbado Market area and ring road section of Akwababa and Saple Road. There were a few vehicular movements with a few people, likely voters, seen walking along the road. In the meantime, the Nigeria Union of Journalists, Edo State Council, has set up Situation Room to monitor the election. A statement signed by the State Chairman of the Union, Festo Salaki, called on journalists and members of the general public to also hook up on the Union Facebook page, Edo NUG and other channels that will be used during the election. The statement added that the Nigerian Union Journalist President Chris Isigozo would preside over the situation room activities. President Bolame Tinubu also yesterday called on all stakeholders in Edo State's governorship election to conduct themselves peacefully and sportly. The president in his statement issued by the advice on information and strategy by Onanuga employed the governorship candidates, political parties and supporters to respect the democratic process and the people's will. He expressed belief in the voters' ability to make informed decisions about the future leaders. Tinubu also emphasized that the democracy strive on civility, tolerance, patience and respect for the rules of the game. He noted that INEC has committed to conducting a free and fair election and he urges all stakeholders to work together to ensure a successful and peaceful process. The president commended the governorship candidate and the political parties for their campaign, which have focused on issues that matters most in those states, including improving livelihood, promoting economic growth, and contributing to national development. The president also urges all the citizens in those states to remain peaceful and respectful throughout the voting process, while also he encouraged them to resolve any disagreement amicably through the constituted authorities. In addition, President Balametubu expressed unwavering confidence in the professionalism and integrity of security agency and INEC officials. He urged them to remain impartial and avoid any actions that could compromise the integrity of the electoral processes. So my people once again, now welcome to our channel, Reality HG. Now for here, we go to bring on a live update as it they happen, when it they happen. Una, welcome and thank you all for staying to with us.